I'm hearing that thing rattle all along this trip. And honestly, guys, if you watched our Rotopax playlist, this has been a, I can't use that term on YouTube, but it's been one of those, um, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. If you have some ideas on how to carry the Rotopax on the Wrangler, uh, definitely let me know because it turned out to be a piece of crap. But yeah, nonetheless, it is what it is. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, right here is the next day of our big, 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 big bin trip. Uh, today, I think we're going to hit Old Maverick Road and then head out to River East. And uh, who knows, you might hit River West and some of the Black Gap. I'm not really sure. We're actually going to get the full trip and track route down Old Maverick Road for you guys. So, Hopefully it'll be exciting, but uh, nonetheless, we, we really won't be sure until we get to the last leg of that. The first leg of it was a little bumpy. That's about it. Yeah, it was bumpy. Yeah. Wash road. We were all getting really hungry. We were yeah. ready to get back. So we waited for about, what, an hour and a half on that time lapse? You waited. What did you do? You were there. I was waiting for you. Yeah, oh, yeah. so you were waiting for me. Honestly, <laughs> we, we waited about an hour and a half to get that sunset and uh, only got about a little over 60 seconds uh where the sunset footage so hopefully it turned out really well waiting on bobby to get out of the bathroom and then we're headed out mm -hmm. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell the story. It's really hard to do. Just not good at this kind of stuff. And I know some of you guys out there that are on YouTube, you do a much, much better job of this. But, uh, well, I'm trying. God, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is not my Hero 7, so I bet you it's like bouncing like crazy. We were running down this old Maverick Road and we ran across a hackle. It's that little thing. And evidently you go inside and it, the temperatures are much cooler. An interesting design. Why, why is it cooler, babe? It's actually warmer right now. Oh, it's warmer? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. It's warmer. So does that mean in the summer it would be cooler? Probably. Oh man, it's actually pretty impressive. I don't have a light on this thing, so hopefully this turns out. And he raised a large family in this thing? Uh-huh. Well, what do you consider large? I don't know. It didn't say. And he lived here until he passed away in 1947. 108 years old, according to Shelby. That's pretty impressive. Look, this stuff is like... It's made from everything around here. The materials around the... Well, look at this. Actually, and yeah. that's what he got to see that was his view that's pretty impressive Shelby you could probably fit you you, you fit you know what I think oh, you should I think here. I think you should stay here and raise your family <laughs> no. I think you should stay I think we figured it out you're you're gonna stay we'll see you later I wonder where his bathroom is behind the bush mm, there's not very big bushes but there's a lot of behind the bushes <laughs> Man, look at that though. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and being like, you know, mom, I'm going for a hike up there. Cause that, that would be me. I'd go hike up there <laughs> or climb up there actually. Cause it's not much of a hike. It's just straight up climb, straight but that's up. pretty impressive. You know, there's the, remember that one that we stopped out about four years ago. I'll try to leave a link in the eye in the sky. It's not dugout wells. It's the one where the, the two families 
oh. lived on the top of the deal and they farmed and grazed all the land underneath it. Yeah. It was uh, two families and they were neighbors. It was. And they were right on top, man. It was really impressive. It was actually on our way out from Santa Elena Canyon. So Down the scenic, might... the scenic, the Maxwell scenic, Maxwell scenic route. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely check the link in the eye in the sky. I'll try to find that and link that in there so you guys can check that out. But it's really impressive. There's no time, no time for stalling. The wild, wild is calling. You risk it all. All right, guys, that there behind us is a Santa Alina Canyon. We just got finished doing the old Maverick Road. We stopped here for this beautiful site to take some photos. Well, Shelby's taking the photos. <laughs> we're kind of watching and paying attention. Next up, we're going to go run down the Maxwell Scenic Route down into Castellan. Castellan. And then I think from there, we're going to take another off-road trail, but I'm not sure exactly which one. We're going to follow the Gaia GPS and see where what what road that may be and where it takes us yeah hope you guys are having a fabulous day Our dreams on the horizon our fears leave our behind us Gosh, guys, that Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive is absolutely stunning. Anytime you get through in Big Bend, you have to take the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive. And honestly, it probably wouldn't hurt to take it both ways, just oh, because yeah. you get different views coming back and forth. And honestly, it is gorgeous. We just pulled into the Glen Springs Trail. Right. Uh -huh. We're gonna run down Glen Springs a little bit. Honestly, I'm not gonna create a separate video on this. I'm not sure that I'm gonna make it all the way through it. We're kind of running out of time. Um, this is a maintained road. It goes all the way down to River Road East, I believe. Um, so we're going to check it out. We don't know how far we're going to get, but if we're lucky, we'll get all the way to the end of it. Uh, but if you can tell right back there in the distance, there's the road. Um, yeah, and we're hoping for some really good views. There is a lot of camping off this road, so that's really nice. There's a couple hiking trails off this road. A couple of hiking trails as well. Yeah. Um, not sure how much of that we're going to get to, but we're going to find out here in just a moment. There you go, we'll wraps up another day in Big Bend. Guys, today we did one, two, three trails. Three trails. Three, three trails. trails, so definitely stick around for those videos. They're coming up really soon. We did record all those tracks and we gave you an honest review of what we thought about those trails. Um, so definitely be sure to check out those videos. Nothing really major, but definitely, uh, definitely, definitely exciting. Definitely scenic, yeah. yeah. Scenic, Very figure pretty. out out of all the trails that we've done so far, which one do you think 
is the trail that we like the most definitely leave me some comments down below and honestly if you guys have been to big bend and traveled some of the trails that we have not traveled thus far definitely know let us know what those trails might be because we are well we want to know and we want to hit those trails as well absolutely yeah, yeah for sure so guys we're wrapping up this video tonight we're gonna head right over there we're gonna grab us some dinner last night was a little bit of an obstacle getting dinner so tonight yes. we don't want to have an <laughs> obstacle getting dinner bubba's hungry yeah. bubba, i mean bubba is hungry so guys if you like this video please do me a favor give us a huge 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 thumbs up and if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next right here on bubba's garage and you know you do please subscribe and until next time we'll see you on the flip side good night everybody good night, good night.